lightning quick 100 fly. The records, the great Natalie Coughlin, Magnuson of Tennessee with the SEC mark. A young phenom in this one. Natalie Hines in lane four. Well, two Olympians hold up those two records right there. You might just be looking at a future Olympian right there. The only freshman in the final here has tremendous speed, Trey. There's another Gator in this race in lane seven and a couple Aggies as well in lanes one and three. But look middle of the pool with Hines, 19 years old. Good chance for the Gators to chip away at that lead that Georgia has. They have two up. You see Georgia only has one. Again, we don't count those. We're not counting those points that are huge in the consolation final and the bonus final below that. So the top 24 places score. We're only seeing the A final, so these points have already been added up. But watch Hines right there in the middle of the pool. Lane number four, top qualifier, and definitely has the most speed going out. She was 24-plus going out here in the prelim. Lane four, blue cap. Freshman off to a good start. Olivia Scott will also be very tough. Olivia Scott actually has a better time overall time. Her best time is better than Hines, so if Scott can somehow hang tough that first 25, or first 50, rather, she might have a chance. The junior from Auburn is swimming very well this year. Scott just below Hines. Lanes four and five. Hines extending a little bit. Boy, Challenge it is so lead close. Six. Kelsey Floyd's coming in right now. here. Zalewski is also in there. Boy, it's it, going to be close. Photo finish. And it goes to Hines. Scott in second. McElhaney takes third. Oh, so very close there at the end. Such a tough call to make, Trey. I'm glad I didn't have to do it because there was, it was, that, that's how close it was. Five one hundredths of a second was the difference between first and second. Sixteen one hundredths of a second between first and third. Hines, here's the start off the block. You have to have, have a great momentum going into that water. You can see that great stretch she has once she enters the water. Really nice acceleration through the mid part of her body. Digs that deep hands catch. There's Scott right there. We're talking about her trying to run her down. And I thought Scott might have had her right here at the end, but those long arms by Hines really made the difference. It was that last stroke. That last stroke did it for Hines. Brilliant swim by the freshman. Another win for the Gators, Natalie Hines by a fraction, just beating Olivia Scott. McElhaney of A&M finishes in third place.